Hello and welcome to another Fleet Ops audio commentary brought to you today by Clintset, Yandin, and Ray320. So we've got a great tournament game ahead of you uh, between Fallout and Old Time Pro. Ray, you want to introduce us to what's going on at the top? Yes, I will. On the top here, we got Fallout sporting a nice white federation. Um, yeah, that's about all you can say right now. <laughs> we noticed that he's... He, <laughs> He's got his uh, Dilithium Mining, and he's got his Ontario's Type Yard. Uh, Fallout coming right off of a victory over Old Time Pro. You'll see that in the, the last game. I posted a replay of that. Uh, Fallout being the victor using Intrepid, Spam, and uh, some nice warping. So we'll probably do that again. Awesome. Okay. Well, what's going on at the bottom? Well, over on the bottom, we got as Purple Boar, we have Old Time Pro. Uh, this is obviously their rematch, and as the Borg, this is, well, what they normally start off with. They get the Conduction Matrix, uh, start now, Energy Nose level 1. Uh, looks like, he's oddly enough, he's doing more Dilithium mining first off, so I'm yeah. not exactly sure what he's doing, because he's got two of those suckers. Um, normally, normally you start off with the Titanium. Uh, you can see that he's dumping some probes, and we'll probably see probes and scoops. You know, I like yeah, to do now, die first. Um, to, to be honest, if you do adapters, uh, or even if you do a lot of intercept cubes, you tend to need that dilithium. Uh, it does hurt you, I think, when you do that sphere. You will not have right, enough. Right, so that, that two tri the tritanium first means you're going sphere in the long run. Yeah, and that this is what uh, Old Time Pro did last game. He And uh, actually, all the games that I've seen him play today, you guys uh, probably seen my replays before this. Uh, Old Time defeated uh, Facist earlier today using the same board strategy. And each time, he did go with the uh, double, or both on uh, Dilithium first before uh, Tritanium. So seems to work for him in the past. We'll see if it uh, works this game. Yeah, follow. he's going to get this uh, detector at some point. He's stripping the crew little by little. And Old Time doesn't seem to be sending it back to uh, to recrew. Uh, he's not overly worried about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 30 crew seems like a lot, but uh, it doesn't take much if you accidentally get it caught near some stations. Yeah. And I like I like yeah, what Fallout's doing. For times five, it's it's gone in a second. Yep. <laughs> Uh, little Mason, uh, Mason Intrepid's coming out nice and strong. Has science going up and a platform, so fairly well defended here. Uh, no to be honest, so now we got Old Time Pro's got his first little uh, two ships going on, so he's ready with that. Yeah, oh, and this to be honest, this scout's gone. This scout is gone. You know, the scout could go. The scout could get out of there. You if think it so? To. It could get. It it could. Nah, he, he's got it. Ah, uh, he got and lucky. He, this is this is exactly what he did last game. He he took the uh, actually in in both the other games today where I saw him play bo uh, Federation players, he kept on taking their scouts. Uh, pretty interesting. And um, you see uh, you see followed up top building that Tritanium platform. That that's a good thing. And I think uh, he's learning from what happened last game, and that's going to benefit both these players. You know, doing things a little bit differently from what happened last game because last game this Tritanium mining was just harassed over and over by old time. And uh, I think that's actually what Old Time's coming up to harass again, but he's going to run right into this platform. Yeah, and this Starfleet well, Command is already going. Is, especially on this map, uh, the Tritanium is a little bit more exposed in both players' places, because otherwise they've got that sort of uh, that asteroid wall that makes it a little bit harder to man uh, maneuver on the Dilithium. Um, also, I find that a lot of people will expand to their Dilithium first, and so their Tritanium will sort of hidden to them become their uh, limiting factor. Oh, yeah. You see a yeah. lot of people doing this uh, Star Yard thing and uh, this covering their, their die moon, and, and they somewhat tend to forget their titanium. Yeah, and that platform not everybody, really not, not, help. Not, not, not the good people, but uh, the, it's, <laughs> a, it's an easy mistake to make. Yeah, and pulse turret. Man, I, I don't think I would have done that. I think the pulse turret might be a, uh, just a little too weak. Against the Borg ships, I would have liked to have seen a phaser turret. It costs a little more, but man, as Mason, it's just going to rip through these ships. 
Well, it's still going to be a, a, a deterrent, and I think that's really what he was looking for. In in the last game, he he tried, I think, about four times to get a turret up, and each time the probe and skew were just uh, able to stop him. Now, one thing that is different is in the last game, Fallout really came down here to this expansion where Old Time Pro is waiting and uh, put up a, a turret to get a nice little base there and then fit it, you know, put up his mine in a yard and such. And he not out there as quick and old time I think was expecting that he was going to do that and you see yeah that um, he was not just to cut you off here. Ray but there's a bit nice little uh, battle going on here and I think uh, Fallout got a little too a little too aggressive with that first Intrepid uh, yep, pretty sure it's going down losing if he doesn't watch out warp it in down though yeah oh in engines that sucker's oh he might keep it alive if that warp in gets there Oh nope, and yeah, got a little, got a little nuts with the uh, intrepids, a little too, uh, a little yeah. too fast, and th the second one's gonna die too, I think, if he's not careful. Yeah, he was just wanting to get that uh, expansion again, but old time was waiting for him. And that's a huge boon for the uh, for the Borg early game, way better than any mining harassment, just starting to reduce the number of those great ADAI ships. And denying an expansion too is pretty, pretty good thing too. Though it's only in this case, uh, it, it's going to only delay for here for a couple seconds as he's going right back at it, which is really good on Fallout's part. He takes a knock, but then he gets right back up and he's right back into the game. Yeah, and if he gets a yard up here, then this expansion is safe. You do see. See, Pro O time sees this. He he does not want the Feds to set up shop here. No. And, and back at Old Time's base, though, he, he is going to get the heat, so he is anticipating that ADI and trying to counter it. Yeah, the Galaxy, though, gonna is going to be great against that. He's going to—he's going for this Constructor. He, he is not going to get that. There's no way that these ships are going to withstand this three ships pounding and get that guy. And well, but he's going to he might he's right going to lose a probe, and he might lose a skew. He is going to end up losing some stuff. He is going to pay for this. How bad does he really want that constructor? He really wants it bad. Oh, I take that back. He got it, but is it going to be worth that cost? I think Fallen Maybe this, this cube might be out of commission ships. for quite a while. And that cube is dead. If oh he, he yeah, just, a little slow on the ships. I think moving it, and that's going to hurt. Wait, hold but on. he didn't kill the constructor. That constructor, it didn't die. <laughs> oh, <laughs> check that oh, guy wow. out. He just it away with nothing but like his knickers on. Oh wow. And you know what? That that, that uh, constructor was quite damaged, but they did manage to only lose two two crew on it. <laughs> oh, warpin like ready and hundred. <laughs> yeah, they're all hiding in the bathrooms. <laughs> Good life support on fit ships, I guess. And I wonder, this is going to be a uh, this dode down here. This is a relay dode, exactly what Old Time did last time. Put a nice little relay behind the uh, nebula. So. Yeah, interesting. Oh, no, he's gonna really he's does. gonna mine that expansion. He's gonna have that oh. guarded there. He's already got dilithium expansion going, so he's got good resources. Old time's definitely not out of the picture here. He is really getting his um, scoops in a lot of trouble here, taking a lot of unnecessary yeah, he's damage. he's playing loose with his early game ships here, and that's that's kind of puzzling now. And they are caught in this fleet. No? Yeah. Oh. The one thing that he's got going for him is these things are, well, aside from he's the fact that they're the fast, wall. he's running them right into their phaser fire. I mean, that's not exactly oh. going good for him. Oh, no. He's going to get it away. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, but, wait, oh, but, the, but he's up? leading oh, it right into the doe turret. That's what he's doing with them. He is putting those suckers up as bait so he can deploy that turret. Yeah, but but he oh. led it right into it. Fallout just just now seeing it. Um, perhaps How much time it. on that construction? Oh, he's, he's not going to get it. Oh, oh God. my gosh! And there is the oh GG. My oh is my! GG? Oh wow! Wow! I think that was well, and and we don't like we don't like seeing this uh, little unsportsmanlike right there, but uh, uh, yeah, definitely definitely hard as the uh, as the Borg to face those torpedo armed Federation units, but uh, man. Really, I don't think old time is out of this. I mean, if he just he doesn't to have to be out of it. Exactly. No, yeah, he's, he's got an expansion. He's lost some ships, but he's not dead. Look at his resources. Yeah, he's yeah. got tons. He's got he got a sphere easily within uh, within a couple minutes. Um, 
not sure what he's doing. Uh, I guess we'll stick Defending around. And you throw a couple is... dodecahedrons, and you completely neutralize the intrepids, and then these other ships just start uh, taking fire from whatever else you got. Some spheres and dodecahedrons, and and you're sitting pretty. Yeah. He he has he still has you know some cubes and and a probe. I mean he can still harass to some extent. Um, I mean this is definitely not over. It, it's only over if you didn't want it. Yeah, and it's only over if you give up. Which... He he is taking a lot of. I will say this: that uh, turret able to put some hurt. Oh, another galaxy, and the <laughs> oh man, and those nebulas. That's gonna make the dodes really, really less powerful. But uh, I don't think there's a dode coming up here. I think he's going either sphere or, you know, I've seen old time do some. He's got energy nodes level two coming up. He could even go for a diamond. But well, that's that's crazy at this point. You, you gotta have at least a little bit of numbers underneath your diamond. I agree, but uh, a... man, he's he's expanding and not building not building more probes. And Sphere is exactly what he did last game. And, and you're right, Yen, and you do see he has hit that Tritanium roadblock a little bit by going for that Dilithium right about you know now. When yep, he's, he's sitting sphere. on 76, and he he needs that, and he's trying to go up there and expand on it right now. And, and he has good expansions. I mean, he has good expansions throughout this game. I mean, he could throw down potentially uh, three dodes right now. <laughs> okay, look at this. I love this. So over here in his left expansion, he, he split his uh, miners, and as soon as, and they all took the bait for this other guy, and yeah. now it's back up in mining. And this one ooh, yeah. might even get away and drop its load off. Just yeah, a little bit of a little bit of bait and switch with some of these really really hurt. Yeah, that's not not a good bait and switch there. No, that's oof, that's a that's a good number of ships now. That's and, a sh yeah. Yeah, that's, that's but a uh, but you know I, I have to agree with you guys. If if he had dropped a couple more dodes, he would he would have plenty to push this off. Yeah, and you could kite because the dodes are not that bad. they're not that slow. If, if yeah. he I believe that they are faster than all these large ships here. And he did throw away a couple so, of cubes, so he would have had those yeah. too. You just and, and pound and on the intrepids and, and you know whittle them down. And yeah, I mean against the against the feds, you gotta keep them from having numbers. Yeah, and, and that dote, if it wasn't a relay, I mean it probably could have done some kiting damage itself and maybe held him off a little bit while he got some more dodes up because right now I mean if he got some more titanium he could potentially throw down you know he is mining really from quickly. the top right so yeah and that that is probably a good move pretty sneaky uh, fallout won't go up there for a while until he decides to expand constructor scouting That's oh no Scoob's getting a little too close a little too Cannot be losing ships. Just get them into the star base. Just get them into the star base. Well, They'll that's... eventually go away. He's got 70 collective connections and only just under 400 tritanium. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. a it's gonna be a diamond. He's got his constructor moving up to the top. There'll be a diamond come up there. Oh wow! It is. But that, that's crazy. I mean, that, that diamond is going to be, like, your diamond's, what's he going to be sporting? A DPS diamond? It won't oh, yeah. Have It'll be a DPS diamond. Oh, down goes his human. Well, he could yeah, almost get nanites bit. now. He could almost, if he had a little more try, he could drop that down and still get the diamond. Well, maybe not. I don't know. 20 more connections to I go. I think Ooh. at this point, Fallout's just going to head up and kill the conduction matrix. I mean, that's the next logical course. Yeah, yeah. that, that, that would completely the right thing to do. And then you ensure that he can't uh, build any more uplands. I mean, he still has two, and he'll probably, I think Old Time will probably pop up a third, because um, this was fault strategy last time, and Old Time did as his conduction matrix was dying, just pop up a couple, so he'll probably pop up one more. So his uh, the the left board expansion is getting whacked by a pair of intrepids. Yeah, just a couple sitting over there. They've been there for quite a while. Just slowly. Look at that sucker. <laughs> Fallout doing a great job keeping his ships alive. Really, only only loose with those first intrepids. Um, after he took that loss, kind of kept everything in line. 
Yeah. Oh, just losing his diamond. There. I, I called it. I called it. You did. You did. But what's he waiting on? What's he waiting on? Try? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. Definitely try. I think he needs to throw up another up like while he still has time. If, I mean, if he wants a chance of getting any more ships out. Well, what can he build? He, he, he needs that try. He, he can't afford to... <laughs> If he wants, yeah, he's, he's against he's against the clock, right? He's like, yeah. I need that try, but I'm on the clock for that sucker. Oh, but you're right, Officer Galaxy. Yeah, baby. That's just a little bit wrong. I love <laughs> the officer weapons. Oh, Diamonds yeah, going definitely. up. You know, he could build another conduction matrix though. Right now, up here in this corner. But the conduction matrix can cost him uh, how much tritanium? I mean, he, a couple he hundred. Just really short on this stuff. Yeah. He could dock one of these mines. I don't know why he's mining die at the top too. I guess because he couldn't at his main now. He's a warping on his yeah because yeah on his main exactly. <laughs> Three nebulas. And Fallout doing what every good player does. You got the upper hand. You expand everywhere. Yeah. Yep. He's going to that middle position. And... Yep. Though he probably will um, pee his pants a little bit when he sees this <laughs> diamond come out of nowhere. It's just a good thing it doesn't have nanites because that just makes it so much. Yeah, but it, I mean, it can worse. still rip through the fed base if the fleet's not near it. It's quite yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but the, the that fleet will get it there so fast, and that diamond's not that fast of a ship. No, it's uh, no, only it, it's speed. a it's a late game support type ship, you know. It, it, it Ooh, so yeah, DPS diamond. Hmm. Ninety two off, sweet. <laughs> hmm. A little bit of uh. Oh. <laughs> you know, folks, I, I got to say, this is what you do. If you're, faced with, you're playing somebody and you know they're ticked, you know they, they're, they're upset that they've lost, yep. you, know, you just, you just, you just ignore it. You just be more friendly. You, yeah, you there's, no, there's no need. And, and you know what? P people are competitive, and this is a tournament game, so. And, and it's, it's a tournament, and we want people to be competitive, so. Exactly. I wondered where is this diamond? Oh, this diamond is going to save its nothing. Well, because there's not going to be no, anything No, it's, it's going to be transiting across the freaking Great Atlantic here. <laughs> and <laughs> and this whole base is going to be dead by the time the diamond gets down here. It's going to run right into this, so Fallout's going to know about this. Yeah, Fallout's not even. This. He's just cycling his ships to make sure that he's got healthy ones in front. Put it. Yeah, put the galaxy with the. Highest offense of the group up there right now. It's ranked up, so it's gonna negate some of that damage. Good job there. I mean, it's gonna be dead. Just gotta send into the. Uh, oh, it's overused in trap especially. Yeah, the diamond uh, killed the miner on its way down. Yeah. That uh, miner will play Fallout for ages to come. That's the one thing as well. Oh, you don't you don't get the experience system, which sometimes you just really really wish you could have. Yeah. yeah. But then again, veteran cube. That doesn't sound friendly. It's what board ship do you know sounds friendly? Yeah. Ah, you know the probe. It's just a friendly probe. I uh, the a diamond detector. doing some damage though, getting some kills. Already killed some of these weaker ships. And it is tiny. That shot. Yeah, intrepid going down there. Bye bye, intrepid. As long as See how much he, can, oh, he, just, oh, he needs to kite through the blue. Yep, and he might yeah. he might even get another kill here. Uh, he's, got, he's got microtech on, so he he's all right. Fallout just going. Oh, you got a diamond. Well, I'm just gonna go repair, regroup my fleet. I'll come back and kill you later. And you see, he's building monsoons right now to kind of negate some of that damage. Yeah, but, you know, a monsoon sounds like a great idea against a diamond. 
but it's I don't think it really is. It's it, not. It, it's still gonna the take monsoon, a point, couple of shots. It's basically a blade of armor. Yeah. You know, I wonder, it, it just, it, you burn it off and you, you, you pay for it. Wonder about uh, mass sabers with their EC3M. Those would probably avoid a lot of torpedoes. Yeah, but this is a this sphere has <laughs> a lovely little. Be I'm sorry, this diamond has a lovely <laughs> little beam on it. That's true. That's true. It is doing pretty nice with its beam. Little beam dance. Now, old time does still have some mining up. He has CCs. He just needs a little more. He could get. Oh wow. He could actually get another uh, diamond. He wants an Order of Chaos diamond, that'd be awesome. I mean, he has, he just needs to put that other Tritanium miner on Dilithium, I think, and he could, he could have it. Constructor Wars. And two diamonds. I love right, it. He's just going to put a platform up there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Old time run with his Constructor. Fall probably just to come over here. Dang it. Oh, warpin! Yes, centaur. Well, I really don't know why everyone likes a centaur class. I just don't. I like a centaur <laughs> class because it's different. It's just a nice little change, you know. It's like whenever you get a Rigel Nebula or whatever it's called, or a, a Rhode Island. Uh, is that what it is? Rhode Island Nova. Just like getting those ships. Just something different. Little cool change up from the stream of sensor nebulas. I mean. Look at that. There's five sensor nebulas. Yeah, and those... I mean, he could just cycle those on and off and be able to see everything. Conduction matrix. Yeah, phasers, center, phasers just all over the place. Um, yeah. And yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Fallout is not going to let this game go. He is not going to make a mistake here. He is going to be just as nasty well, as he I'm has to be to win. I don't think, I mean, it's that... Absolutely. I mean, because if, if he loses this, we all three have to dog him for a month. <laughs> yeah, yes, we do. <laughs> I don't care who you are, if you lose a game at this point, you deserve the dogging. Yeah, I mean, at this point, yeah, there's there's no way, I don't think. I mean... Well, I mean, you could have a serious brain fart and do some really stupid things, but you'd have to do a lot of stupid things. Well... <laughs> yeah, I don't, that's, I, just, that's just not cool. I mean, competitive, but come on, guys. I mean... Well, I mean, it, it just kind of... I, I don't think that... Uh, I don't think Fallout is trying to be funny by putting these phasers here. I think he's, like we said, he, this is a... It's a good tactic. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. That's what he's supposed to do. I mean, his fleet is engaged somewhere else, and he's, you know, throwing up a turret so that it can do yeah. some damage. At this point, yeah, I mean, old time, he's not giving up, and that's fine, but uh, he's... This game is pretty much over. I mean, sometimes you gotta be able to lose as much as you gotta be able to win. Yeah. But it is kind of neat. I mean, pretty good, uh, pretty good fleet going in here. Um... Nice he mining. Get a right get... <laughs> just doing a good job. He's just basically <laughs> turning up every single moon he can get a hold of. And I think half of that is not just, uh, I mean, not necessarily just platform, but I think part of that is just sensor. He has eyes Absolutely. on the board. Absolutely. He has yep. eyes on the board with this, too. He knows exactly where he's at. So that diamond can't run away, and this diamond's going to die. Yeah, I mean, the diamond can kill, it can kill these. Phaser turrets. The phaser turrets really don't. They don't do much except uh, stop those miners from really sitting there. Oh, and this guy. Oh, yeah, this is where it gets to get hurt. This is when you want that chaos to order diamond. But oh, it's not gonna. And Fault's just gonna follow this into the nebula. He knows. Yeah, I mean it's over. There we go. There we go. If he got the second diamond up, he you know he would have a little bit more of a chance, but. Uh, I mean, he does have Conduction Matrix, another diamond setting up there, and uh, there is the GG, so... Well, actually, there was no There GG, it is, folks. But uh, I guess that's the game. Yep. Uh, 
There we go. Wow. And it looks like, uh, before we go here, it looks like this is the last uh, tournament game of this patch. Looks like we have a new, a new patch coming up here, so it should be pretty exciting. What? Yeah, yeah. Thank Are you, you kidding me? Oh, 2.2.3. <laughs> <2. 3. laughs> no, I am not. Well, well. <laughs> all righty. <laughs> on, on that note, uh, we will uh, see you on the flip side. Thank you, guys. See you later. Later, guys.